Hey, plus and good day, everybody. It's for us Nat News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ponky Take as we talk about Eustace Anunen, who, of course, got rewarded because of how well he's been playing, but also because of injury issues with the Avalanche, but got rewarded with a call-up and actually looked pretty good against the Senators having to come in in relief, excuse me, of Jonas Johansson, who continues to have a struggle bunny season this year with the Colorado Avalanche. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the easy to use subscribe button on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. A special thanks to those that have already subbed. But of course, Brady Kachuk was able to score an OT less than a, a minute into overtime in that game yesterday, unfortunately, for Avalanche fans. But Anunan did look really solid after winning the goaltender of the month and getting awarded for that. He went 5-1-2 and two in eight starts during November. 1-8-3 goals against and a 937 save percentage, so absolutely ridiculous. And according to the AHL release, each of his first seven appearances, he was were one goal games, beginning with a 29 save effort over the Texas Stars, and then he stopped 21 shots in a 3-2 victory at San Diego on the 6th and made 30 saves as the Eagles defeated Texas 2 to 1 in a shootout on November 12th, and then 23 as Colorado edged Henderson 2-1 on November 20th, and then a season-high 36 in a 5-1 win over Stockton on the 27th. So Eustace and Noonan, as a th former third-round pick, has really been making a name for himself, where on the entirety of the season, uh, he is 6-4 with a 2-6-2, uh, six four and three actually the two six two getting some losses in overtime there, and really playing particularly well after only playing two seasons, uh, dipping his feet in the water and playing solid last season. He's really emerged this season as a former third round pick, uh, coming over from Finland and really progressing well. And it's nice to see a guy like that get rewarded, albeit it is because obviously Pavel Francois is still on his conditioning assignment. Where if all things were right for Colorado, he probably wouldn't be up. But it's good to see them notice how well he's playing and give him a shot here where I would honestly say next game, if Francois is not ready to come back up with how Johansson has looked this season. And also, of course, you have um, Darcy Kemper out as well. So if you didn't have the injuries to both of your netminders, I obviously wouldn't think he would be up, but it's nice to see him get rewarded. If, if he can't come back up, Francois, I would have to say for that Flyers game, um... Unless if Kemper is expected to be back for the Philadelphia Flyers game, they should honestly start him because Johansson's been really off this year. He looked good last year. He looks like he kind of needs to readjust and go back down with the Eagles to kind of get some time to readjust like he did last year and then come back up and have some success potentially, but he just doesn't really have it right now. Where I would just go with the Noonan with the way he's been rolling. He has the momentum. He came in for Johansson, and he obviously looked really good. He's coming off of one of the hottest months, if not the hottest month of his entire career, since obviously I don't know everything about it. I know he did well in Finland, but I don't know the realms and ups and downs of every season he had in and out. But <clears throat> Kemper's a guy that they said he was being monitored three days ago, and then he was, of course, out against Ottawa. So if he's able to go, then you're obviously going with Darcy Kemper if you're Colorado. But that, then at that point, if Francois ain't able to come up yet. It's going to be interesting to see what guy they decide to keep up, since they could also just send back down Johansson, because even if he has to, I'm not sure if he would have to go through waivers, but even if he does, I'm not sure of how he's playing this year. Somebody would claim him, and if they do, Colorado still has Miska and other goaltenders. If they need to, they could bring those guys up as well. But I hope everybody enjoyed this short video on Eustace and Noonan winning the goaltender of the month. Kudos to him, and great to see Colorado reward him calling him up, albeit obviously it was because of injuries, but it's nice to see them notice how well he's doing, because of course they could have just called up someone that, albeit didn't look great in his NHL stints yet, Hunter Miska, that at least has the experience, and they decided to go with the kid who's really earned it and earned that call. Have a great day, and plus day, everybody, and as always, enjoy the rest of the season. Peace out and stay safe.